Hey guys, welcome back to channel Stewart here and today I'm going to be showing you the best Town 9 push and attack strategies that you can use inside of Champion League. Throughout the video, I'll be going over how to use different armies so you can push your way through Champion League all the way up to Titan League. Starting off with the first army of the day, which is the Queen Charge Mass Hog Rider attack strategy. I'm going to be attacking this Tunnel 10 here worth 59 trophies, which is the most amount of trophies you can be offered in the game. We're starting off at the very top of the base with the Queen Charge. That balloon was to activate any of the Seeking Air Mines if there were any on the outside of the base to keep up those healers healing up the Queen. Drop out Baby Dragon over on the left side to allow for the Queen to make her way in as we drop the War Breakers because she was making her way to the left side of the base. So we took out those buildings over on the left side. The main goal for the Queen is to take down the Town Hall and even any of the Clan Castle troops if there are any inside of there. Luckily for us, the Clan Castle is directly in the middle of the base, so we don't have to worry about that too much here. We'll drop the King at the bottom left to distract these defenses and then wall break it in to open up this compartment to allow for the king and all of these withers to head in and take down the left side of the base. The king is basically the replacement for the golem, so using him as tank will allow you to distract these defenses and allow for the wizards to take down the left side of the base. We'll drop a right spell over on the queen as she is a little bit low in health, getting her back up to full there, and dropping all of the hogs to the top left as we have a little funnel going, allowing for these hogs to pass directly over to the inferno tower dropping a heal through here as they will get destroyed if we didn't have that down there dropping a uh, poison spell for these skeletons and another heal through the second inferno tower making sure these are both on single if you are going to attack a tunnel 10 this one here we had to attack it because it was obviously worth 59 trophies we dropped our last heal spell at the bottom left and we have a bunch of hogs over on the right side that i used the free spell on on that final splash damage building that wizard tower taking that down there up to 64 we got the two star from the queen attacking and taking down that town hall dropping some cleanup troops towards the bottom and this is looking pretty good to get a three star against this tunnel 10 here but speeding it up we did end up only getting about 98 percent two star on this tunnel 10 getting around 39 trophies but still a decent attack against a tunnel 10 using the queen charge mass hog riders Heading on to our second army of the day, which is a very popular one at Town Hall 9 and very easy one to use. It is the Go Vape Attack Strategy. We're going to be attacking this Town Hall 10 here worth 38 trophies. And we'll start off this raid by dropping all four of the Earthquake spells on the direction you want to go from. From me here on this base, we're going to be attacking from the very bottom because the Queen is towards the top and the Clan Castle. And you want to always attack from the opposite side of the Clan Castle. So dropping all those Earthquakes there and then a golem at the very bottom of the base, and a king and a pekka on either side of the golem, a widespread of the wizards, while breaking in and dropping the queen to take down all of these outside buildings. After once all the outside buildings are taken down, we'll drop all of the valkyries, even those clan castle valkyries, and dropping a heal spell to allow for everything to heal back up to full health to get their way over to the town hall. Take that down for the first star, getting that down in under 30 seconds and dropping a right spell through the back of the town hall compartment to speed their way through the walls and get some more percentage so we can get this 50% in under a minute on this town hall 10 here for a two star. And we're getting a bunch of trophies from this one here, dropping the rest of the troops as we get this two star on this base using the go vape attack strategy. The third attack strategy of the day is the zap dragons. This one is very good against the tunnel 10s as you see here, making sure that you are finding the bases with the multi in front of towers. And to start off, we're gonna drop the lightning spells, all four of them on one of the air defenses, most likely the one where you want to push into with your dragons. The other air defense is the one with your heroes, taking that down, which is right here towards the top of the base. Right above that town hall is where we're gonna be pushing into. So we drop a dragon to path the king and queen over to the right side of the base, then eventually take 
down that air defense as you see here. We'll head over to the left side now and drop all of the dragons, a wide spread of them here, and the rest of the balloons to head in and take down the town hall, activating that queen's ability as we get pretty close to taking down the air defense and actually do take it down. We drop our first raid spell through that multi in front of tower and make our way over to that town hall and get that down for our first star up to 40% here. Still haven't even dropped the clan castle troops not even needing to as we have basically all of our dragons still up and at 45% not even needing to use our wall breakers but you could use those with our heroes if we needed to to get our over to one of the air defenses but getting that 50% here and continuing on with the attack and not even needing to use our clan castle and our clan castle freeze and eventually ending off the raid at a 60% two star. Moving on to the final attack strategy of the day which is the queen charge master of dragon attack strategy this is my favorite and probably the best army to use for pushing at town hall 9 we're going to start off at the very bottom as it is where the town hall is because you want to push in with your queen charge and make your way over to that town hall which have a baby dragon towards the top of the screen there to path the queen over to the left and once the queen is making her way over to the left side here we will drop another one to path her straight up to the top and drop in a raid spell to allow for these war pickers to open up these walls we only have six of them here so you want to use the most of our wall breakers and open up the compartments as you see here already taking down that town hall right over the wall so we already got that first star achieved so now we can really just drop the baby dragons around the outside of the base dropping our balloons on these archer towers just to get some more percentage and we don't even need to use our clan castle for this one here even though we still have our king and a bunch of baby dragons still up up to 30 percent now dropping the king over on the right poison and, and using that king's ability to take down that archer queen over on the right side gonna have to actually use the freeze the clan castle here to give up the queen so we don't have to use our clan castle at the bottom of the base and we'll head over to the top and drop the rest of the troops as we get the 50% very close call but we get the 50% here on this town hall 11. I decided to show off one more attack using this attack strategy on a max town hall 11. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom and start off with our queen at charge to make our way up to the top and take down the town hall. Baby dragon over on the right to path the queen into the base and a right spell for these two war breakers to open up the compartment to allow for the queen to make her way into this base after taking down a couple more of these buildings. Once we have the queen inside the base, we're gonna head over to the left side here and drop the king on this mortar to take down the enemy queen just so the our archer queen does not have to worry about her and so she can also path her way over to the expos without having to get taken down or use her ability we're going to use another raid spell as she's getting really low in health from the wizard tower and those two expos. We also have to worry about that air defense which starts to lock onto our healers. So another raid spell will make our way through these expos as quickly as possible. And that wall break was for the middle of the expo and air defense compartment, but it just didn't really work out because I wanted to open up the compartment to allow for the queen to head over to the town hall, but she can just target her over the wall anyways. So we'll just take that down and a widespread of the baby dragons all the way around the base so we can get more percentage so we can get this 50% as we get that town all down for that first star only need five more buildings basically to get that 50% on this town hall 11 still have a ton of troops still left that'll just spam all the way at the bottom of the base not even needing the clan castle as usual as we get this two star on this maxed town hall 11. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you found this video helpful and want to see some more time I'm pushing content on the channel, I did a pushing series a while back, which I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description below the video. Also, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.